Hello and welcome to Media Nama. Recently, YouTube channel Make Nerd and Sohit Mishra Official have reported that their videos had been demonetized on YouTube. These videos concerned EVM and VVPAT machines. When questioned on their decision, YouTube cited their advertiser guidelines as a, re as a reason. YouTube said, any claims that are demonstrably false and could significantly undermine participation or trust in an electoral or democratic process are in violation of our policies. This is not a unique case. Recently, there have been multiple political YouTube channels that have had their videos demonetized, and some have had their channels blocked. Medianama journalist Sharveya Parasnes has covered this topic in depth. Hi, Sharveya. Hi, Simon. How are you? I'm good. Sharveya, can you please tell us more about channels that have received demonetization notices from YouTube and your conversation with them? Sure. Uh, so as you pointed out quite recently, uh, there are two YouTube channels, Make Nerd, uh, or as his real name is Make Nerd, and Sohit Mishra official, uh, who have received demonetization notices on the specific videos that they have made uh, on the topic of the EVM machines and the VVPAT machines. Now, uh, prior to this, uh, about uh, earlier this month or in the late March, uh, there was a similar incident uh, with two other news channels called Lokit India and Indus News TV, both of which created content related to political news and analysis in Hindi and were often critical of the central government, similar to Meghnard and uh, Sohit Mishra official. So uh, we spoke to both of these channels and we found out that they received demonetization notices similar to the past few weeks with a crucial difference. Now, what happened with Sohit and Meghna is uh, they had the specific videos demonetized, but here with Lokhith and Indus News, they had their entire channel demonetized. The reason given was also exactly the same for allegedly making demonstrably false claims that could affect the electoral process. Now, uh, while we do in fact know that Meghna and Sohit were demonetized specifically for their videos on EPMs, YouTube did not inform these two creators exactly which, channel, which videos led to their channels being demonetized. So, uh, while both Indus News TVs and Lokit India had made a few videos on EPMs, they had made videos on uh, several topics, in fact, and we don't actually know which one of these were considered to be a, what demonstrably false claims that could lead to a negative impact on the electoral process. Uh, so the, I think there's a distinct lack of transparency here as to what exactly YouTube considers to be uh, such dangerous or harmful claims. All right. Um, so what has been the impact on these channels? Uh, so demonetization basically means that you will receive no revenue from your channel. Now, this is something that can be very difficult for YouTube content creators who are dependent either entirely or primarily uh, on the platform for their income. Now, uh, getting a single video demonetized is bad enough. But if you get your whole channel demonetized, that basically means that you're going to make no money from your work. This can make the functioning of such digital news media organizations very difficult. Uh, and that's quite worrying, especially in an election year. So we'll get back to that. Um, now that we've discussed uh, demonetization and its impact, let's talk about the case of Bota Hindustan, where the entire channel was taken down. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Uh, sure. Uh, now, I'm glad you brought up Bolta Hindustan, which is also a case that was quite popular in the news in the past few weeks. So from our conversation with Bolta Hindustan's founder, uh, we know that he received an email from YouTube at 1 a.m. on April 4th, uh, informing him that they had received an order from the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting to block the channel under Rule 15.2 of the IT rules and Section 69A of the IT Act, another channel, National Duster, also got a similar notice, but the channel was never blocked and it's still up. Now, uh, the notice was kept confidential, so we don't know which specific video uh, triggered the ban. The legal experts that we spoke to also pointed out that there is a requirement for transparency within the IT rules itself, and there is also a requirement for proportionality, since here the entire channel was blocked, uh, as opposed to certain videos being blocked or even just demonetized. 
So most YouTube channels are no stranger to getting takedown out of a specific videos, but this was for an entire channel. Some might call this a drastic measure. Uh, so what is the government's justification for this? Well, we are not entirely sure if the government did in fact have a justification here. Uh, so if you look at the IT rules, uh, specifically rule 15.3, it says, and I quote, a direction under this rule may be issued only in respect of a specific piece of content or an enumerated list of content, as the case may be, and shall not require any entity to cease its operations. So you can see that there is a requirement for proportionality that is based into the IT rules itself. Uh, and the legal experts that we spoke to uh, also pointed out that the bar for having an entire piece of content block is actually quite high. Uh, so it appears that the government may not have entirely followed its own rules. And another thing that the legal experts mentioned was that the Shreya single judgment, which upheld Section 69A of the IT Act, uh, did in fact do so only when it read the Section 69A with the IT rules, uh, where it provides an opportunity uh, to a hearing uh, for the person who is in fact the creator of the content. Uh, alongside that, it also has a requirement for proportionality. So I think that raises fairly serious question as to did the government in fact have a legal justification or did it follow all of the proper procedures when it comes to the uh, blocking of content? So you mentioned this briefly. We've just gone into a new election here. How do you think these takedowns will affect the political discourse on YouTube? Uh, I think we need to take the uh, impact of YouTube on the political discourse in India quite seriously. I think uh, a few months ago, the Hindu also had a report where they pointed out uh, that a significant amount of uh, political news content was actually being made uh, on YouTube and watched on YouTube. So it's very clear that social media is going to play an important role in the upcoming elections. Now, so Sohit Mishra official, for example, uh, he was in fact a journalist at NDTV before shifting his uh, content to YouTube. And there are other major journalists like Ravish Kumar or Avisa Sharma who have in fact moved to YouTube. So we have to take the impact or the discourse of YouTube uh, fairly seriously here. So it's not uh, a niche platform anymore. It's very much a mainstream platform here. Uh, so now that we've established that, we also have to take into consideration uh, the fact that certain political news channels have been demonetized and legally uh, under, have been demonetized for, le for fairly non-transparent or opaque reasons. And there is a channel that has been blocked under a legally suspect uh, order. So we need to keep that into consideration. Uh, Digipub, which is a industry body of digital news media organizations has also released a statement, I think around a week ago, uh, where it stated that uh, this is a extremely worrying trend and such takedown orders can actually negatively impact the functioning of news media organizations and prevent them from properly informing the public. Uh, so they demanded that the government allow the news organizations to operate freely and without fear of interference. Thank you, Sherwin. So think, uh, sorry. No, if you want to say something, then say it. Okay, I'll just add one last sentence. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think that uh, these takedowns do have the possibility and the demonetizations as well have the possibility of quite negatively impacting uh, political speech and expression on YouTube. Uh, even the demonetization, while it may not have happened due to a notice received from the government, could arguably have something similar to a chilling effect on free speech. For example, if there are certain topics uh, that lead to your channel or your videos being demonetized, it would uh, disincentivize or demotivate people from um, approaching that topic, uh, which might make certain topics off bounds in the political discourse, which would have, in fact, a sort of a damaging impact on the uh, elections, or which would have a damaging impact on uh, civil society and the conversations that need to happen when it comes to, you know, uh, in a democracy. Um, so going forward, what changes do you think need to be made to this process? 
Well, I think the most important change is uh, in the case of demonetizing, it has to be transparency. So we have looked at two channels who have had their uh, entire work being demonetized. So they're making content, but they're not making any money out of it. Uh, so that's something that uh, we need to take into consideration. And I think YouTube needs to reconsider its approach towards demonetization. And it should, in fact, inform the creators precisely what sort of content uh, YouTube considers to be within its guidelines and not within its guidelines. And even when it comes to demonetization, they should in fact uh, have a appeals process and they should also be much more proportional when it comes to demonetization. I don't think that they should demonetize entire channels, uh, especially political news channels, uh, which could have a negative impact uh, when it comes to free speech and expression during an election year. So I think that the one major change that needs to be happened is transparency. Thank you, Sharreya. For our viewers, if you'd like to learn more about this and anything in tech policy in general, please check out our website, medianama.com. And for more quick takes like this, please check out our YouTube channel on Medianama. Thank you.